All right, there's two properties of uh, polygons that I want to discuss here. The first is just the sum of the interior angles. And then second, the sum of the exterior angles. All right, let's take a look at what we've covered already. If we took a triangle, what is the sum of the interior angles in a triangle? The interior angles add up to 180, right? And what if we took a quadrilateral? What's the sum of the interior angles add up to? 360. And again, we found that by simply taking and drawing in a diagonal and finding how many triangles can you create. Well, we created two triangles, each one of 180. Therefore, that equals 360. Here we had just the one triangle of 180. Therefore, that equals 180. So as we extend this and go even further, and let's say we go to a pentagon, when you're looking at a pentagon, the number of triangles that you can form by drawing diagonals from a single vertex is one, two, three. So if you have three 180s, you get your total sum of angles to be 540. Okay. And we can extend this one final measure. Let's say we take a hexagon, draw in all the diagonals from one vertex. So one, two, three diagonals creates four triangles, each one of 180. Therefore, the total sum of those angles is going to be 720. So it's a real easy way and a pattern develops here for you to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. And that pattern's based on the number of triangles that are can be formed. So in a triangle, one, in a quadrilateral, two, in a pentagon, three, hexagon, four. Well, if you compare this to the number of sides, three sides in a triangle, four, five, six. Well, what is the difference between each of these? Each one has a difference of two, right? So to go from the number of sides to the number of triangles formed in this, you simply take the number of sides minus two. And so that gives you your sum of interior angles. If you just take n minus two times 180, you get your sum of interior angles. So it's that simple if you're working on something larger so a nice easy one, if I give you a 12-sided polygon, so a 12 gone, what's the sum of the interior angles? Give you a purposely easy number to mentally calculate. Yeah, just, so if you take 12 minus two times 180, that's 10 times 180, 180 with an extra zero. So you get 1,800. Right, 1,800 is the total sum of the interior angles for that polygon. Okay. 